Hello everyone and welcome to Mathematics Galaxy. So today what we are generally going to today we are generally going to discuss is a group homomorphism from the group GL2R to R star. So as you know what is R star? R star means the set of all real numbers, basically the positive real numbers. Okay. So GL2R, you know that the GL2R means the, all those two cost matrices with uh, non-zero determinant okay? means they are impertinent. Alright. So that's what we're gonna check today. That how this GL two R uh, can be a very good group homomorphism from that to R star. Okay. R star means basically it's sometimes called the R plus. Okay, okay. R star means basically not uh, positive. It's basically the non-zero real numbers. Okay, non-zero real numbers. That's very important. All right. Okay. So at first, just write what is GL two R in the in this sense. So this notation may be changed in, in, in some books, but I think this is the current notation I am using. So it consists of all those matrices A, B, C, D, such that A, D minus C, D not equals to 0 and always that A, B, C, D belongs to R. Okay? So A, B, C, D, uh, they basically belongs to R. Okay? So that's the real deal. And what is R star? R star means basically R minus G. That is called R star. Means all those non-zero real numbers. Okay. And we define a group homomorphism. We define a group homomorphism from this to this. Okay. So that's what uh, we basically do today. And we know that GL two R is basically a beautiful group with respect to uh, multiplication. Okay. With respect to multiplication. Got it. And R star, you know, this is again a group with respect to multiplication. Uh, as you know, there is, I mean, non-zero real number, so there is no problem of uh, multiplying things in such a way. So the function looks like this, that homomorphism looks like that. If, if of, if you just uh, take two elements, like just like this. see that a b c d and p q r s so they will be mapped into something uh, in r star as you know that this is not equals to zero and we know that if you multiply these two things they will be again uh, not equals to zero because gl 2 is basically closed okay close means if you multiply two element then it will be again an element of gl 2 and if you just uh, multiply this thing it will be like this That's the thing, and also you know that it is basically not equal to zero. Okay, I mean, not, not equal to zero. It's basically the determinant of the whole thing is not equal to zero. This means it basically belongs to this this matrix is basically uh, belongs to GL2. Okay, and so uh, what is what is the mapping actually? What is the mapping? So if you would do this kind of thing, then it will it will become something uh, something very sensational. Okay, something very sensational and that you can just uh, do something like this. That. into a for okay you can do things like this so what is the mapping then the mapping is this that you put this it basically goes to a d minus c d okay so that is the basic mapping okay so that is very important the mapping is this okay as you know this this element belongs to r star okay and this element is generally belongs to this GL2. So that's the mapping, and that's how we define this group homomorphism. I mean, uh, we can check this that this basically belongs to group homomorphism. Okay. So that's the thing it is, and again, it's basically uh, it's very interesting to see that uh, this is basically an onto mapping. Onto means that if you take any member from this R star, okay, corresponding to that member, you can find an element in GL2. We're gonna show that today. How it is done. So you just at first take some element from this R star. So you just take some element, let's say A belongs to R star. Okay. Then corresponding to this A, you can find the matrix like this. Let's say A101. As you know that the determinant of this matrix is basically A. So you can find this. Again, you can find another element like this, that A001, which again corresponds to this A. 
so that's a very important thing to remember for this matrix you can find it for this matrix you can find it basically the inverse so this means that uh, this homomorphism is not one to one okay means for exactly i mean let's say two 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 equal element you cannot find always this kind of matrix it means for one element you can find uh, let's say thousand thousands of uh, elements in g one okay so this is not basically one to one matrix means it is not injective in a sense for it so that's the thing it is and it is very beautiful to see that uh, in in general sense in general sense that this gl2r is generally non commutative it doesn't commute got it but on the other hand r star is basically beautifully commutative means it's abelian so it, this uh, example shows that how you can find uh, basically an on to group homomorphism from a non commutative to a commutative that's how it is okay well, thanks for watching